Let me make this very simple for you. There's only one reason to buy the Mavic 2 Zoom, except from saving maybe a few dollars. The two new Mavic models are identical. It's only the camera that's the difference. The Pro version has the one inch Hasselblad wide angle lens, where the Zoom version is equipped with two times optical zoom. Lens compression is only possible to achieve with optical zoom. It can't be faked in post-production. Let's look into how this works after the intro. Do you want to get the best out of your new Mavic 2? Then keep an eye on this channel and consider subscribing for my weekly tips, tests and tutorials. I've seen a lot of discussion raging on social medias about which model to go for, the Mavic 2 Zoom or the Mavic 2 Pro. The main argument is that most of what the Zoom model can do can be faked in post-production with the Pro. That is to some extent true with the exception of lens compression. Let me show you the difference between optical and digital zoom by using my normal DSLR with the kit lens 18 to 55 mm faking the 24 to 48 mm known from the zoom. Today's test objects are my water bottle and a Mavic Air in the background. Let's set the lens to around 48 mm and snap a picture of the bottle in focus. Now we're changing the focal length to 24 mm and keep the same distance and snap another one. With 24 mm the bottle is smaller and we include more of the background. If we cut and magnify the picture to match the 48 mm, you will see the Mavic Air in the background seem to appear in the same distance behind the bottle. This is the same result you will get if you fly close to your subject with a fixed lens or if you do 1080p digital zoom by cropping 4K footage. You can't fake lens compression. Let me show you how it works. It requires optical zoom and that you move away from the subject. Still set at 24mm so the bottle has the same size as it was with 48mm. That should do the trick. If we compare the images, you will notice that the Mavic Air appears much closer on the 48mm focal length picture even though we haven't moved it in real life. This is what's called lens compression and is the secret ingredients that Hollywood use all the time to make the footage look a lot more dramatic. It's what you normally see when you see cars racing by uh, filmed from the air in a blistering pace but in reality it's just an optical illusion. The only way as explained to get lens compression is to move away from your subject and zoom in. The effect will be more dominant with a longer focal length. You need to make up your mind if this effect is enough for you to sacrifice the better Hasselblad camera from the Mavic 2 Pro. In reality the camera that is equipped on the zoom is just a Mavic Air camera equipped with the optical lens. Seen in that perspective, it's a lot of money to pay for a zoom lens. Note what you have seen in this video might not translate directly to your drone as both camera and lens are different. I'm sticking with my choice uh, to keep my Mavic 2 Pro. But either way, if you decide to pick one up, I've included buying links in the description below. You will pay the same price as if you buy it directly, but uh, this way you will support me and the channel. If you found this video useful, then uh, make sure to share it in your local drone community. Also smack the like button because that helps other people to find the same video. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.